Welcome back to another video. In this video we've got a Q&A, so something a little bit different. But yeah, I hope you enjoy. So yeah, let's get straight into it. Before we get into this video, if I make this shot, you have to like and subscribe. And you gain five inches of vert. I mean, do you really want to chance it? So yeah. Also stay tuned to the end of the video where I'll give you a sneak peek into my next video. You don't want to miss it. So the first question we've got in from at Travis Dunks. He says, what are your ultimate goals pursuing the dunk life? So my ultimate goals, so I don't know, it's close to 50 inch vert as possible, really, to see how far I can take my body. And yeah, try hit crazy dunks, hopefully. I really want to make this content creating, yeah, more of a thing, because I really enjoy it. And I knew you can make that happen. So make sure you support the videos, like, and I'll keep making them, so. Next up is at Progressive Dunker. So by the way, shout out to him for his first dunk. Uh, it was yesterday, time of recording. Hopefully, Yesterday by the time I upload, depending on how lazy I am with editing. He says, who are your inspirations slash idols? So, for Duncan, I would say Stephen Selly, as this is how I found out about Duncan. Um, obviously, the big dunkers like Jordan Kilgan, Isaiah Rivera, they're the first people that I sort of saw and look up to in Duncan for, yeah, this is pretty cool, actually. But overall inspirations or idols, I would say Will Smith. You know, Fresh Prince is probably my favourite show ever. And yeah, I try to take a lot from him in the comedy side. I just love his personality and stuff like that. So yeah. And it would also be people like Michael Jordan and Jimmy Butler, whose work ethics are just incredible. I really admire that. So yeah, be that. So next question is from pfeel underscore fitness. Sorry, I probably actually destroyed that app, but it's written just here. So Make sure you go follow everyone in this video. He says short and long term goals. So short term goals. Um, I want to start done consistently and hopefully I can hit a, well, or get close to a windmill this year, hopefully maybe. Uh, do I see how the progress goes? Um, and long term goals, like I said with Travis's question. Yeah, just try to see how far I can push it with Duncan and, you know, increase my vert and we'll see where it goes. But if you want to see a video of me going in depth into all my goals for this year and next year uh yeah let me know in the comments below and i'll do that for you the next question is from underscore dima.bb and he says if you didn't get into dunking what would you be doing right now so that's a tricky one i'd still be playing basketball but i'd just be shooting dribbling working on my shot or whatever but if i didn't even get into basketball which is kind of how i sort of transitioned into dunking then i would probably just be going to the gym just for going to the gym. You know, I probably wouldn't have much of a motivation to be doing it, but. And, also, and if I never found out about basketball, then I'd probably still be playing football or soccer. Um, yeah, I've played that my whole life, so I'd probably still just continue with that. The next two questions actually are from Jendak underscore, sorry if I said that wrong. And he says, how does your dart look like? So, my dart is absolutely nothing special. Um, I'm quite young with a fast metabolism, so yeah, I can sort of, I can get away with eating, um, yeah, basically whatever I want, really. So, yeah, but yeah, I don't eat junk food, so I keep it. I keep it good, so I just make sure I have enough to fill me up and perform the best I can, really. His next question is, do your parents support you? And I'd say, yeah, I guess so. I mean, they don't really know how serious I'm trying to take Duncan, so I'm sure if they did, they'd be fully supportive, yeah. They know I'm working out and jumping and playing basketball, but yeah, uh, whenever I've done sports, they've always supported, so I'm sure it'd be no different. The next question is from at Tom.dunks, and he says, when was your first dunk? So, I believe it was on the evening of 25th of February, 2020, so just earlier in the year, and I was indoors, I was at basketball practice, so, I did not actually get it on film, which I'm so annoyed about. I wish I got it in, I wish I got it on film, sorry. And it was actually off the dribble, which is kind of unusual, but I'm really bad at lobs, as you've seen from the last video. So yeah, that's how it went down. Obviously indoors is easier, a lot easier for jumping. Uh, I believe if I went indoors now, I could definitely crush a, crush a dunk. So yeah, hopefully in the future, that's something to look forward to. So the next two questions are from Corey Dunks, and he says, what are your future dunking goals? So by that he means what dunks I want to hit in the future. So one of the biggest dunks that I really want to hit is a 360 scoop. I think they just look so clean if you do them right. 
Shout out to Dan Gross for doing that on like a 10-4 rim. He's good at them, so yeah, it just looks clean. I want to be able to do that. I want to hit like 360 windmills, Eve Spays, you know, just the regular legendary dunks, really. Who doesn't want to do them, really? But yeah, 360 scoop. And um, an under both would also be very cool, so. And the last question from Corey and the last question of the video is who inspired you to get into Duncan? So, I kind of touched on it in the beginning, but basically I went onto YouTube, I was attaching the rim and I just typed in Dunk Journey. I just touched the rim for the first time that day or I was close around that. And I just typed in Dunk Journey and Stephen Sellies popped up, so. Yeah, I then saw his, I saw he had a whole channel dedicated to Duncan. I didn't know that was a thing. So, watched for all his videos, really enjoyed them. And then through him, I saw Isaiah and, you know, then got into all the other pro dunkers and then got into the smaller pages, into the actual, like, bigger community. And, yeah, I've just loved it since, really. I made my page back in August of 2019 and I found out about the whole Duncan about April time. And, yeah, that's why I'm starting this YouTube channel and posting my dunk journey because I want to inspire other people to get into it just like I did. So... Yeah, we're hopefully going to see how far this can go and what comes of it. If you keep supporting me, then yeah, I'm going to keep uploading. So thank you very much for watching the video. Like I said at the start of the video, I will give you a sneak peek of my next video and it includes this. So I will be testing my vert and there'll be a dunk session. So make sure you're on the lookout for that. That's going to be hopefully, hopefully it's going to be an awesome video as long as I have a good session. But yeah. Also, make sure to follow my Instagram at Nathan underscore Dunks underscore. That's where I post, yeah, I post stories regularly so you can keep in contact with me there. You can message me. I answer all messages as quick as I can. And yeah, I made that short at the beginning of the video. So that means you have to like and subscribe. So do that right now if you haven't already. And hopefully I will see you in my next video. Also, before we start, if I make this shot in that hoop, you have to like and subscribe. And you gain five inches of vert. Before we start, if I make this shot, you have to like and subscribe on the video. And you gain five inches of vert. <laughs>